Hello everyone. It's James again. And before I start today's short video. I just want to quickly say. All work in this video contains 100% original content of and by myself James Smith, otherwise known as Bigood4000, and was uniquely created with normal software, by myself James Smith. As I purchased commercial rights from Normal to produce my unique and original video with this software. Commentary is uniquely my own thoughts, feelings, and expressions. Now that I have that out of the way. I do hope your day is going way better than fantastic. And your journey to self-betterment is going way better than fantastic as well. And that journey. That journey that you and I and likely all of us are on. It can at times get rough. And you see the narcissists have implanted the seeds of doubt in our minds. Ever since we were little kids. So all we knew was failure. Losing, and self-doubt. And we mentally and emotionally beat ourselves up over these failures. It's like the narcissist is still abusing us even when they are long gone from our lives. Because they've literally trained and brainwashed us to do it for them. And one of the only ways might be able to override some of these tapes that loop and play on repeat in our minds. Is just have daily positive self-talk. Tell yourself you are doing your best that you can right now. Tomorrow you will try to do better. But today's failure doesn't sum you up as a person. You are blessed and highly favored. Most of God's people struggled and struggled in the Bible. But yet they kept on going. They kept on going. And stopping. Emotionally beating on yourself is what Satan wants. That's Satan whispering in your ear. Calling you a dummy and a loser and no good and worthless. Or you see. No one wants to date you. Or see. Your narcissist ex found someone and they are so called happy together. Which we know they are not. And if it appears they are. It's just the honeymoon phase. The devaluation will come soon enough. But these are the things we think about and that play in our minds. Maybe someone you thought was a good friend out of nowhere treated you really badly for seemingly no reason at all. And boy did it set you back. Now did you ever stop and think why it set you back so badly? Just like mentioned in my last video. You were put into a war. And you having some sort of post-stress trauma from the situation is not an excuse it's what is. And think about the veterans that came home from war. They might have had maybe a great year after coming back. But their narcissist boss yelling at them. Or a car backfiring made the same chemicals shoot through their body that happened to them when they were in war. And now they feel like a mess. Now does this make this person a loser? A dummy? And an excuse maker? No. No it doesn't. It makes them human. It makes them human. And you are human too. You've been put through horrible horrible mind control. Did you know much of what was done to us growing up as children or in the houses we married into? Or the people we dated? Is the same thing that sinister individuals would do in mind control experiments. And we were put through such mess and here we are standing. Not being denied and not vanishing into nothingness. Nope. We are still going. So when you have these moments that aren't so pleasant in your life. Try to talk to yourself about what you went through and how strong you are to be going like the way you are going. Hey you just need to catch your wind. You're going to try again. Pray to God to hold you close to him and give you strength. When you wake up in the morning. Do me a favor. When you go into the bathroom before you take your shower. Look at yourself in the mirror. Tell yourself a few times over that you love yourself. Look at yourself and say I love. And then your name. Say it sincerely. And then tell yourself you are going to try your best today. And ask God to be with you every step of the way. You see. You might still have bad moments and bad feelings at times. But we can sure add into the mix some good times. Some good feelings and some words of encouragement. Even if we are the ones encouraging ourselves. Do not let the narcissists win over your life by letting those seeds of doubt to grow into weeds in your mind. 
You are blessed and highly favored. You were made in the image of God. You were carefully designed and made to God's special specifications. He didn't make junk when he made you. Satan and his narcissists and demons are liars. If they are calling you a loser and a dummy. What do you think that means for the true meaning of who you are? That's right. You're not a loser. You're not a dummy. And God loves you. So please. Please. Encourage yourself. With that said. I do hope your day is blessed. And until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.